What does a crackhead and Elon Musk have in common? They both embody an unyielding determination and relentless focus, but for very different goals. In this groundbreaking video, we'll kick off with the psychology behind wealth creation, drawing parallels to the focus and determination of a crack addict. We'll then dive into real-world strategies for taking calculated risks, just like high-profile entrepreneurs. I'll share stories of resilience in the face of failure, and we'll explore the importance of adaptability in today's fast-paced economic landscape. Plus, you won't want to miss the hidden gem strategy for wealth building that's often overlooked. By the end, you'll have a comprehensive blueprint on how to channel your inner tenacity into a powerful force for achieving financial success. Wonderful. Wonderful. If you're aiming to unlock the secrets of wealth, sometimes the most unlikely sources can offer profound insights. Take, for instance, the story of Tommy, a character whose life, though troubled, provides a striking example of unyielding determination and resourcefulness. So, who is Tommy? He's far from your typical success story. He was a drug addict, the kind who's been through the ringer. Not the high life scene of yachts and luxury, but the gritty reality of life on the streets. Tommy was the kind of person who, despite his circumstances, somehow managed to rake in more daily cash than many doctors and lawyers. His appearance was far from what you'd expect of someone with a substantial income. With teeth in various shades of yellow and brown, and a body covered in scabs and sores, Tommy was a figure of neglect. He even earned a nickname for his appearance, Scabby Tommy. And his smell? It was so bad that once, when he was arrested in the dead of winter, the police officer had to open all the windows and blast the air conditioning just to bear the ride. Tommy frequently found himself in trouble with the law for minor thefts or public intoxication. Yet, he never stayed in jail for long. It was during one of these brief stints in jail that a startling revelation about Tommy came to light. He confessed to another inmate that his drug habit cost him a staggering $200 per day, and this was back in the mid-1980s. Adjusted for inflation, that's over $650 per day in today's money. Annually, that adds up to about $237,000 per year. In today's terms, Tommy was spending the equivalent of a top 10% income entirely on his addiction. Let that sink in for a second. Here was a man, without a home, without a job, waking up each day with nothing, no savings, no financial plan, no tools of trade that most of us take for granted. Yet, every single day, Tommy hustled his way to what equates to $650. Without a car, a phone, the internet, or even a stable place to sleep, he managed to secure an income that rivaled or even surpassed that of many respected professionals in the community. This story isn't just about the dark side of addiction. It's about the extraordinary lengths to which people can go to achieve a goal. Imagine what could be accomplished if that same level of determination, that same hustle was applied towards positive legal avenues of wealth creation. Now hold on. Before you jump to conclusions, let me clarify. We're not here to glorify Tommy's choices or means. Instead, we're looking to extract a powerful lesson from his life, a lesson about what it means to be truly relentless in the pursuit of a goal. This is about channeling that intensity, that singular focus into building wealth and achieving success, but in a positive and ethical way. So, as we delve deeper into the secrets of wealth creation, let's keep Tommy's story in mind. It's a stark reminder of the sheer power of human will and determination, and a call to channel our own energies into fruitful, constructive pursuits. You see, in a crack addict's world, it's all about the next fix. But in our world, 
It's about setting that one big financial goal and chasing it with everything we've got. Think about it. I'll think about it. What's your fix? Is it owning a house debt-free, starting that business you always dreamt of? Or maybe it's achieving that sweet spot of financial independence. Whatever it is, it's time to lock onto it like a laser. But here's the kicker. You gotta be relentless. First, let's talk about knowledge. The real game changer. I mean, look at Warren Buffett a titan of wealth spending 80% of his day just reading. Here's a bit of advice. Soak up every bit of knowledge about finance, investing, and strategies like a sponge. It's not just reading. It's studying the battlefield before charging into war. Ever heard of calculated risks? Well, those are our weapons. Elon Musk, the guy who revolutionized electric cars and space travel, gambled everything he had from PayPal on SpaceX and Tesla. He even faced the grim possibility of bankruptcy. But he didn't flinch, and that's the kind of guts we're talking about. It's like playing poker with the highest stakes. Except here, the stakes are your dreams and your goals. But remember this, every hero's journey has its dragons. You will fail. Yeah you will fall flat on your face. But here's the secret sauce, resilience. Look at Steve Jobs. The guy was kicked out of his own kingdom, Apple. But did he call it quits? Good evening. I'm Steve Jobs from Apple Computer. We're very glad to be here tonight. No way. He came back swinging, turning Apple into a name that resonates in every corner of the globe. It's not just about making money. It's about making history. To do that, you need to push boundaries and break rules, the ethical kind, of course. We're talking about being so fixated on your goal that you become a force of nature. Howard Schultz, the mastermind behind Starbucks, didn't just work long hours. He breathed, ate, and lived his vision. He traveled across the globe, learning, experimenting, and growing his brand. His obsession wasn't just about coffee, it was about creating a global phenomenon. And here's where it gets really interesting. You need to be as adaptable as a chameleon. The world's not a static place, my friend. It's ever-changing, and you've got to dance to its tunes. Look at how the tech giants are constantly evolving and always a step ahead. You think Jeff Bezos just sat back after launching Amazon? Not at all. He was constantly tweaking optimizing and turning it into the powerhouse it is today. But this isn't just a wild ride without rules. This relentless pursuit, it's gotta have a heart and a moral compass. You're not just chasing wealth, you're chasing a dream. And in this dream, you're not stepping on others to climb higher. You're building a ladder so sturdy that it not only supports you, but everyone around you. The crack addict's relentless pursuit for their next fix is akin to an unwavering commitment to your financial goals. It's about harnessing that raw, undiluted focus and channeling it into something constructive, something monumental. Next up, we're going to delve deeper into how to wield this tenacity and turn it into your greatest asset. Let's talk strategy. Ever heard of diversification? <sighs> diversification. That's your golden ticket. It's like not putting all your eggs in one basket, except these eggs are your dreams and the baskets are your investments. You've got to spread them out. Stocks, real estate, startups. Why? Because the market, she's a fickle beast. One moment she's up, the next she's down. Diversification is your armor against her mood swings. But it's not just about throwing darts in the dark. You've got to be smart and do your homework, research, analyze and then take the plunge. Take cryptocurrency, for instance. People who jumped on that train early, they're laughing their way to the bank now. But here's where it gets really interesting. Adaptation. The world's changing every day. New technologies, new markets, new opportunities. You've got to keep your finger on the pulse and stay informed. Like I said, it's like being a chameleon, constantly adapting to your environment. But let's not forget, this journey is a marathon and not a sprint. Patience is your ally. Rome wasn't built in a day. 
and neither is wealth. You plant your seeds, you nurture them, and then you watch them grow. It's about playing the long game. Now, let's talk about sacrifice. Yep, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You've got to be ready to give up some comforts, some leisure. Late nights, early mornings, missed parties. It's going to happen. But remember, you're chasing something bigger, something grander. You're forging a legacy, and there's the resilience aspect. Remember our friend, Scabby Tommy? Now, he was a model of resilience. You'll face setbacks, heartaches, and failures. But they're not roadblocks. They're stepping stones. Each failure teaches you something and makes you stronger and wiser. Every time you fall, you rise again. But this time, just a little bit tougher and a little bit smarter. Uh, sorry for stopping your video, but you really should subscribe. Here's a little secret of the rich. Your network is your net worth. Surround yourself with people who share your vision and your drive. Build relationships not just for the sake of networking, but for learning and growing together. It's like having your own personal army, ready to march with you towards your goal. But let me be crystal clear. Ethics matter. This path you're walking, it's got to be clean. No shortcuts, no stepping on others to climb higher. Your wealth, it's got to be built on integrity. You're not just building a bank balance, you're building a reputation, a legacy. So, as we march forward on this journey, remember, it's not just about the money, it's about the person you become in the process. Now, let's explore the psychology behind this relentless pursuit, the mindset that separates the dreamers from the doers. You see, the most successful people in the world, they don't just act differently, they think differently. They have what we call a growth mindset. This means they don't see challenges as threats, but as opportunities to learn and grow. They're not deterred by failures. They're motivated by them. It's like a puzzle. Each setback is a piece that helps complete the picture. Do you think Tommy is going to let a freezing snowstorm or the night patrol deter him from getting his fix? Absolutely not. He's out there rain or shine, hustling harder than a squirrel in nut-gathering season, all to secure that day's goal. Now let's talk about vision. The greats aren't just focused on the present. They're looking 10, 20, even 50 years ahead. They're dreamers, but their dreams are vivid, clear, and actionable. It's not just about daydreaming of wealth. It's about envisioning the steps to get there, the hurdles, the triumphs, and the end goal. Let's take Elon Musk, for example. He's not just building cars or rockets. He's envisioning a future, a legacy. His vision is his roadmap, and every decision, every risk he takes, is a step on that roadmap. And here's something crucial, emotional intelligence. This isn't just about IQ, it's about understanding people. It's about empathizing and connecting. Wealth isn't created in a vacuum. It's built through relationships and through networks. It's about understanding the human element in business and the subtle art of negotiation and influence. And then there's discipline. Discipline and teamwork. This is where the rubber meets the road. It's easy to be enthusiastic when things are going well. But what about when they're not? Discipline is what keeps you going. It's getting up at 5 a.m. even when you don't feel like it. It's working on your project after a long day at work. It's saying no to distractions and to instant gratifications. All for the bigger picture. And speaking of the bigger picture, let's talk purpose. Purpose. The truly wealthy, they're not just in it for the money. They have a purpose and a mission. It's this purpose that drives them, that gives meaning to their hustle. It's not just about building wealth. It's about building something that matters, that makes a difference. Okay, let's shift gears and talk strategy. The real meat and potatoes of turning that millionaire mindset into cold, hard cash. First up, financial literacy. This isn't just about reading balance sheets or understanding stock markets. It's about grasping the nuances of money, how it works, how it grows, 
and how it can work for you. It's about understanding assets and liabilities, about knowing the difference between what puts money in your pocket and what takes it out. One of the first rules of getting rich is to buy assets and eliminate liabilities. And if you can buy assets that have increasing cash flow year after year, you're doing even better. Next, let's talk about leveraging debt. Now, I know what you're thinking. Debt is bad, right? Not necessarily. There's good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you money. Bad debt costs you money. Learn to use debt as a tool, not as a crutch. It's like a lever, used right. It can lift heavy weights with minimal effort. Once you have your assets, liabilities, and debt in check, investing is your next big play. But I'm not just talking stocks and bonds. I'm talking about investing in businesses, real estate, and yourself. It's about finding opportunities where others see obstacles, about seeing potential where others see problems. Now, any millionaire will tell you that one of the surefire ways to get rich is to create multiple streams of income. You don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? The same could be said for your income streams. Be okay with having your fingers in different pies. Maybe you've got a day job, but you're also investing in stocks, real estate, and maybe even a side hustle. It's about not relying on a single source of income. It's about building a safety net, a buffer. So if one stream dries up, you've got others keeping you afloat. But here's the kicker. None of this matters if you don't have self-control. Wealth isn't just about making money. It's about keeping it and growing it. It's about not splurging every time you make a buck. It's about being frugal, about knowing the value of money, and about understanding that every dollar spent is a dollar not invested. And let's not forget about continuous learning. The world's changing every day and you've got to keep up. Read books, attend seminars, subscribe to channels like ours and listen to podcasts. Stay hungry for knowledge. It's about being a lifelong student, always curious and always eager to learn more. What we're talking about here is a complete transformation, a lifestyle that naturally cultivates wealth. This is where you start living the principles we've discussed, where your actions align with your goals and your life becomes a testament to your unyielding pursuit of success. But let me tell you a story, a real life example of someone who embodied these crack addict like principles and soared to the heights of wealth. Let's talk about Sarah, a simple woman with an extraordinary vision. Sarah wasn't born into wealth. She didn't have a silver spoon. She started with a simple blog, a platform to share her passion for sustainable living. But Sarah had something more than just passion. She had an unwavering focus and a relentless drive. Sarah spent countless nights researching and learning everything there was to know about online marketing, SEO, and content creation. She leveraged every penny she had to attend workshops, network with influencers, and build her brand. Sarah knew the power of investment, not just in stocks or real estate, but in herself. Her blog started gaining traction, but Sarah didn't stop there. She diversified. She started a YouTube channel, wrote an ebook, and launched an online course. She created multiple streams of income, each feeding into her growing empire. But here's the kicker. Sarah maintained a frugal lifestyle. Every dollar earned was a dollar saved or reinvested into her business. She understood the value of money and the importance of growing and nurturing her wealth. So, Sarah's story? It's not just about the tactics or the strategies. It's about the mindset, the lifestyle. It's about embodying the principles of relentless pursuit, unwavering focus, and continuous growth. So, as you step out into the world, armed with the knowledge and strategies we've discussed, remember it's not just about getting rich. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, a version that's geared for success, wealth, and impact.